Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Sniperman1109 and today we have finally reached 500 subscribers. I want to give a big thank you to every single one of you who have decided to join me for along the ride and help me grow as a YouTube and content creator. Thank you all so much. I honestly never thought it would be possible to make it this far. I didn't think I could, but you guys shocked me and you helped me out and I really appreciate it. And without further ado, I said that as soon as we reach 500 subs, we were going to do a questions and answers video. And some of you put questions down in the video I made previously about this, and we're going to read them now. So, let's jump right into it. Infinity Wither says, Question, would you like to be famous in the future? And what would you do if you hit 1k sub? Love the content. Well, for one, thank you for your awesome compliment about loving the content. I appreciate you and I love you as a subscriber. And second, what would I do if I hit 1k sub? I'd probably poop my pants with excitement, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and yeah, you know, it'd be cool to be able to be uh, a little famous. That'd be kind of nice, because I would actually like to do this as a job. You know, because, you know, content creating is something that, you know, I've liked for a long time. I've always dreamt of doing it. Uh, I, I love playing video games and I love, you know, love putting stuff together and you're like my imagination I love letting my imagination run wild and this job you know being able to do this would allow me to you know be able to complete that goal of being able to do it so yeah I mean absolutely I would I would love to do this as a job and if I can get a little fame out of it I mean sure why not Steven Kastner and I apologize if I mispronounce some of these names significance of 1109 absolutely none I mean I actually created this uh, as like a my gamer tag for Xbox Live a long time ago, and it just ran together so well. But yeah, it just went together really good. AB says, love the vids you've made. Just wondering what you use for it, and what made you decide to start? I use, um, my computer has a, a graphics card. It's an NVIDIA 960, I believe, and it has a built-in screen uh, recorder. So I use that. And to edit my videos, I use a free software called Shotcut, and that's available to the public. If you want to download it, just go online and type in Shotcut.com or Shotcut Download, and I'm sure it'll, someone will lead you to the right place. And what made me decide to start? Well, honestly, this may sound really insane, but I used to, you know, like when I would play games, I used to talk to myself, and I would say, hmm, maybe I should do this or that. And I would discuss my plan, my own plan with myself, my own course of action. And I figured that maybe that would be good commentary for other people. Because my cousin and my wife and a bunch of other people, you know, who've uh, been around me when I play video games, they'd sit next to me and I'd just be talking, messing around while I'm playing a video game. And I, I could make them laugh and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, maybe I could make others laugh and, you know, brighten their day a little bit with my commentary. Who knows? But yeah, that's what made me decide to start. And I actually really like this. It's really fun. CJ, the only question I have is when or if you ever get tired of Survivalist or Project Zomboid, what will you play next, if anything? I can give you some suggestions if you want. It really depends on whether or not you have a console and if that console is an Xbox or PlayStation. Well, I have a couple more series in mind that I'd like to do, and I don't have... Uh, I have consoles, but I don't have any way to record on them, and I'm not really much of a console gamer. I actually got rid of my Xbox One a little bit, because it, it legit had so much dust on it. Like, <laughs> there was a bunch of dust. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just not going to let it sit here and go to waste. I'll just sell it to somebody, you know, who actually use it. I'm definitely more of a PC gamer, and I like playing games like RimWorld, and I've been talking about doing the Kenshi series, and I need to start it up, but it's the problem with my work. I I work a lot of hours, so that's it. Kind of gets in the way of me really wanting to put more editing in my videos and stuff like that. You guys know how I say I want to make my videos more cinematic, and I really do. But sometimes my job it just makes time really limited when it comes to editing. But yeah, I like a majority of different games. I got some games that I might like. Some of you might like, because as you can see, we're kind of a zombie channel here. We've been playing a lot of zombie games. But I also like medieval games too, so I don't know. We'll have to see what comes in the future. Boom. Boom says, Hey man, love your content. Just wondering, when you're done with Survivalist, will you keep or will you make another new series on it? 
Keep up the good work. Thanks, Boom. And actually, I have a really, really good plan with that. And yes, I will make a new series on it as more content keeps coming out, as the updates keep rolling out for the game. Because I have a feeling this game is small right now. It's really fun as it, you know, in its current state. But I have a feeling it's going to get so much better. So you better believe, Boom, that we're going to make more series on it. Like I said, it's going to be awesome. Maffin says, any live soon? Well, because of my really, really crappy lack of internet. Because like I said, I use my, my, my Wi-Fi hotspot, for those who don't know, and that's on my phone. And I live out in the country, and we don't have very good service. So there is no absolute way I'd be able to do any live streams unless I were to, you know, p take my whole rig and go somewhere. Which, like I said, I, I might consider doing one day, but I wouldn't mind doing live streaming. It'd be cool to have you guys all there at the same time and we could just talk live. It'd be really awesome, and who knows, maybe if I get good internet one day, we might make it happen. Soul TV, hey mate, keep up the good work. My questions are, number one, do you plan on making content for the same type of games, or will you branch out? Well. I'm gonna. I'm planning on branching out because I think if I was to branch out, you know, I'd get a little variety on the channel for you guys, and it'll it may open up viewership to other audiences, and may help me grow as well. Which I definitely am all for variety. Cause like I said, I don't want it, my channel to get stale. Like, oh, ah, all sniper ever posts survivalist invisible strand project zomboid. Gosh, this is all you're gonna play? I'm out of here. Now I don't want it to be like that. And I don't want it to get too stale for me either, because, like I said, I love, you know, I, Project Zomboid, hands down, my favorite game in the world. But I don't want to continuously beat the, you know, beat these horses to death. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to branch out in the future. Number two, have you been enjoying the content that you've made so far? If yes, I'd like to know why you enjoy making such content and why you became a content creator. Well, I, I love the content I've created, yes. Um... Uh, because it, like I said, it gives me a outlet. It's a creative outlet. You know, being able to show the world my imagination and what I can come up with and the characters I create that I try to bring to life, you know, and make you guys care about. Stuff like that. Because I've always wanted to make movies and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to voice act. And being able to do this YouTube and being able to play games that I like and make the characters that I play come to life really helped me achieve my, you know, lifetime goals that I've wanted to do. And getting amazing feedback from you guys, my subscribers, and getting your support just makes me want to do it more. And I thank you all for that. And like I said, I became a content creator because I just, I love to get into my imagination and just let it flow, man. And you guys, like I said, giving me your kind words and your support and continuously watching me every week, it just makes it so much better for me. And you help me out bravely and urge me to keep going, so thank you again. Sing Guy, my questions are, what was the inspiration for your name and avatar drawing? And what other names did you consider for your channel, if any? Well, my inspiration of, for my drawing is me, because I plan on doing a face reveal at some point, but, I lo but basically the gist of it is, is my avatar what he's wearing is I have this pig face bassinet and I'm really big I'm really big into medieval stuff and the, those you know those of you who know what medieval stuff and armor kind of is the medieval pig face bassinet is my favorite helmet of you know the medieval period and I actually have one in real life and I have an aventail attached to it and I just love it man I like wearing it and whenever I do a face reveal, I'm going to be wearing it then. It's kind of like my trademark. It's like, because, you know, there's certain people who have, like, a favorite hat or, like, you know, a favorite whatever you wear. And that's my favorite. I love wearing my helmet because it makes me feel like a knight. <laughs> I'm random. And uh, let's see here. Inspiration for my name. Yeah, I mean, I basically just... I randomized it and it gave me Sniperman 1109 and I'm thinking, you know what? That sounds really good. It's really catchy. It flows together. And ever since then, I mean, I love the name. I basically use it for everything. And I didn't really consider any other names because uh, Sniperman 1109 fit really well. It went really well. So I said, you know what? This is it. This is my name. 
up to your feet says, Hey man, don't really have any questions. I just want to say, love the Survival of the Invisible Strain series. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy it. Sir Loin Stakes, question one. Would you and your wife be capable of doing more videos together? If so, is it possible maybe she and you can do a co-op of Survival of the Invisible Strain? I think it was pretty awesome having her on one of your other videos. Oh, yeah. I mean... I love having my wife on the videos with me. Uh, she really helps my true self come out. She's really supportive. And it, honestly, if it wasn't for her, this YouTube might not be possible. Because I work so much, I can't really upload these videos myself. She does really all that for me. And like I said, just she's really, really supportive. And I love having her in my videos with me. Now, when it comes to survivalists playing together, um, well, that... See, again, we don't have internet, so it kind of makes it difficult, and I don't know if she'd really like playing that one of those types of games, because she's more of a peaceful builder type game, which that's fine, you know, but I don't know if she'd be able to handle that. She's not very good with keyboard, but I mean, I could try to talk to her, and who knows? Maybe if we get internet in the future, maybe she can try and join, and hopefully not die. <laughs> Question two, do you plan on coming out with more content more frequently as you grow subs? Now that, I mean, yes, I would like to do that, um, but mostly it depends on how much this hobby can bring in financially for me, because with my job, I work a lot of hours and I can't afford to miss work, because, like I said, obviously the world's run by money, you know, I need, we, you know, I have a family, I need as much as possible, and if, if I can make enough money, like if I can actually make a living, you know, a decent bit coming in from my YouTube and my amount of subscribers, absolutely. I plan on, this is how I plan on happening. If I get enough income coming in from this, I plan on going part-time with my job first. And then if I make like way more than I thought I would and, you know, have a decent amount of income coming in, I'll quit my job altogether and I will focus all my efforts on editing these videos and improving their quality and improving their cinematic nature. That's what I really want is to tell a story. I want you to feel like you're watching a TV show. So yes, the, you know, depending on how many subs I get, and depending on how much income I can possibly make from this, absolutely, I will definitely make more content. I would rather make more content and do this than my actual job, but can't have that yet. Question three, what other games do you enjoy playing when you aren't recording? Well, I basically play the same games because I just love them. Uh, I play this game called Rebuild 3, it's pretty fun, it's another zombie game, but I'm probably going to make another series on that too, possibly down the line. I play RimWorld, RimWorld's really freaking fun, and I definitely want to make a series on that, because I have a feeling, you know, with all the camera angles and stuff I can do, it can have a really good cinematic feel to it, and I can make it, I think I can make a pretty good series on it. And yeah, basically I play the same games, I'm a pretty repetitive person. Because I like my games. And I rarely get burnt out on them if I really enjoy it. And then lastly, he says, Keep up the amazing work, man. I love relaxing after my night shift and watching one of your vids before a nap. And that means a lot to me, and I'm glad that my content entertained you after a hard day's work. I know what it's like coming home after a hard day's work and want some entertainment. And it means a lot to me that you can look to me for that entertainment. And I'm glad I can provide that to you. So thank you. All right, guys, that is it. And last but not least, thank you all again for 500 subs. Without you all, this would not have been possible. And you guys are amazing for your support. And honestly, you've made me a very happy sniper. And I am very grateful for you all. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, watching me read all these questions please snipe that like button and subscribe and spread word spread the word about the sniper to your friends and family and i will see you guys in my next video peace